Hi everyone, this is Lori from My File Addiction. Today I'm going to show you how to locate your SVG files if you're having issues. And this is based on um, using Windows. So after you have downloaded the zip file onto your computer, what you would need to do is click on the file, then you're going to right click, you're going to select extract all, and what that does is cre it creates a duplicate folder within the same file folder that you saved the original zip in. And now this particular folder without the zipper on it are the files that you can now download into your um, design software program. So if we click on this folder, we can see there are various um, files inside. And most people want to go over here and they look and they say, there, there's no SVG file. So I get this a lot, people um, emailing me saying that I didn't include an SVG file. So the first thing you're going to need to do is we need to see the full file um, name for this um, particular file. So there's a little gray line that's to the right of the name column over here. And what you do is you put your cursor right on that gray line until it turns to a little cross. And then if you hold down your left click and you can drag that column open. Okay, so now we can see the full file name. And then now, now we look and we still say, well, there's still not an SVG file. Okay, so you're gonna go up to your view tab here at the top, click on the view tab, go over to file name extensions and click on this box to check it. Now we can see all the file extensions, okay, after the name of the file. So now you can see the two bottom ones that said that they were Microsoft Edge HTML documents are indeed the two SVG files that I include in my, um, with my files. Um, and the reason it shows up as Microsoft Edge, or it might even be your Chrome, or whatever internet browser that you have um, selected to open those files, SVG files, when they were originally uh, created, they were actually web-based files. And that means you can basically use your internet browser to click on the file and open them up to view to view the contents, okay? Doesn't mean you can cut from your um, internet browser, but it allows you to see what's inside that, that folder. So that's the reason it's automatically, when you look under this type column, it's automatically going to default to whatever web browser that your computer has selected for uh, the file to open, okay? So that's, those are two ways that you, you need to look for to find those SVG files. And also under your view tab, now you have many different ways that you can actually view these files, okay? Um, so if, you're, if you don't, um, I include an SVG, or I'm sorry, I include a JPEG, which will show the design complete. If you don't see that and you want to see that, to see what um, the design looks like, go to where your, um, it says extra large icons, and if you click that view, now you can see what the design looks like. So there are many different um, ways that you can view your files inside, whether it's as a list, if you want more details, contents, um, and this is basically kind of all the same information. It's just kind of displayed a little bit differently. But I always like to make mine default to extra large icons. That way I can view uh, and see what exactly this file looks like before I upload the um, SVG or EPS, whatever files you use, um, into your software program. So I hope this information was helpful and have a great day.